Good morning everyone! On this blessed day I decided to do something simple and remove some scrap locust I had lying around. The wood cried out to me to cut it into a fist shape. If you saw the bark left over on the other side it was the only conceivable shape I could have cut. So that is what I did. Locust is hard and it does chew through my jigsaw blade, even a small piece like that. But here we go, fist shape has been cut. And now it was time to remove some of that bark and imperfections left over on the other side. One interesting thing I have found with locust is that the outer layers of wood close to the bark are actually quite powdery and come off very quickly on a belt sander. But once you hit the hardwood portion of it, then sanding slows down. Due to that, I actually find using locust for sanding quite enjoyable since you do not have to be afraid of accidentally sanding off useful piece of wood. However, I couldn't use belt sander for all of it, so at the end I used my orbital sander at 60 grit to get in and remove all those flaky pieces of locust that would make it feel and seem very meh. Another problem though is that sawdust powder from the locust is surprisingly sticky. If you have some explanation why locust behaves in such a way, please let me know. It really sticks onto my sanding discs and belt sander. Now that the rough sanding has been completed, it was time to slowly add manual touches with my trusty Festool Orbital Sander. I started off with 80 grit and slowly moved up to 800 grit with 20 grit increments at first and then slowly jumping increments by 30 and then 100 grit. Yes, I know there is no need to go up to 800 grit and many people settle for 320 grit at most. But I find sanding to be a very zen activity and I do enjoy it. Heck, I thoroughly enjoyed every process of making this piece so it was zen all the way. And the extra contours of the fish gave me quite the challenge of sanding to boot which only made it that much more fun. Once the piece was completed I applied 3 coats of salmon oil. I would apply oil, wait 2 hours, wipe excess off flip it to the other side, apply, wait 2 hours, wipe excess off and then let it rest for a day. Then buff the piece with a cloth and apply oil again and I did it for a total of 3 coats. I found that salmon oil actually handles being applied at 800 grit which is something I can't say for some other oils that I tried. After I'm satisfied with how much oil the piece drank, I proceeded to wax it. The video is actually sped up, but when waxing I move the sander very very slowly at a high speed. I do so in order to ensure that there is sufficient enough friction to generate heat and really bind the wax to the piece. In my personal experience I found that by using this technique, wax sticks to the piece and survive being washed quite a few times. And once piece is nice and shiny, we are done! I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making this video. I know it wasn't the most exciting video, but I really truly enjoyed making this piece. If you did like what you saw, please consider subscribing. I promise you, the video I will drop for the next two weeks are going to be out of this world. It is a project that has been two months in the making. If you have any questions, comments or just want to say hi, that's also very very welcome. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it and stay tuned for the next week. Bye bye!